what you see here is inside the cabin, the three uh, views on top is what you see uh, from the camera overlaid, all the, the visual perception on it. And uh, what you see on the right is the top view of what's really happening under, under the hood. I'll, I'll run it again so that you can see what, what's going on here. So let's run this again. So let's focus only on, on the right-hand side. The blue car is an autonomous car. It's, it's approaching a, uh, a junction. It's giving way to uh, the car. Red means that it's giving way. And then another car uh, uh, and, and simply goes. Then there's going to be a pedest pedestrian that, that jumps in. And uh, so you see all of this from, from, from the top view. So all of this is done by cameras. And when I mentioned about 3D, this is what you see on the right-hand side. The right-hand side is a 3D display. Everything is located in 3D. And you need to be able to do this only with cameras. So let me show you some, uh, uh, some examples. So all the examples I'm showing is from this. 12 camera system. There's no other sensor uh, in the car. And in every example, I'll show you also how things look from a drone perspective. So uh, um, you, you'll see the, the, the agility of, of uh, things. So, so let me run this, uh, this example. One moment, let me go back. So you see that the car is, is blocking uh, traffic, this car that is uh, stuck there. And all other vehicles are kind of finding their way uh, changing, uh, changing lanes. And you see our car, this is the blue car with the logo on top of it, is also there. And you know, it's struggling its way and doing it quite uh, in an agile uh, manner. Um, we did a simple experiment. Uh, let, me, let me stop this for a moment. We did a simple experiment where we, uh, where we uh, hid the, uh, the logo and let people view this clip in order for them to identify which, was the, which one was the autonomous car, and it's quite difficult. It really drives like a, like a, like a human. Now, this is from the same, but from inside the, the car. Let, let's look at it, and, and then look at it again. Uh, so what, what's really interesting to look is, is on the right-hand panel, where you see things in, in, in 3D. So let me run this part again. So. Before I run it, I'll just remind you the color coding on the right-hand side. So uh, a bounding box, which represents a vehicle, a bounding box is red when the autonomous car decided from a tactical perspective to give it away. A bounding box is green when the autonomous car decided to take away that vehicle. So changing lane is finding a gap between a red and a green. Now you'll see that this decision of what is red, what is green is, is a momentary decision. It could change its mind because a car that is, you decided to take away may not allow you to take away, so you need to relent. Okay. So let's have a, have a look. Okay, so have a look at the right-hand side. So the blue car is autonomous car, so it's giving way to the red car. It was flashing green, but then it flashed to a red. Uh, this green, and now it enters. Okay. And, and you saw from from the, the, the video itself, that it's really struggling its way, and you saw it also from, from, from the drone. It's not an easy, it's not an easy maneuver. Uh, let's look at another typical thing that, that we see also. This is, again, in a similar setting, but now you're going to see a pedestrian coming out uh, on the road, and, and the blue car, the autonomous car, because it saw a pedestrian, it made a decision to start changing lane because it knows that this car is, is stuck. You see the pedestrian in, in the video, also on the right-hand display. And, and changing lane here is also, it, it's a struggle. It's very, very densely packed, and it does it uh, successfully. Let's look at other setting. This is a, an urban setting uh, where we'll reach a, uh, a junction, and in the junction, uh, you need to uh, you need to give way. There's also a pedestrian uh, crossing. The pedestrian will be crossing uh, uh, right now. And the autonomous car continues, and then it needs to give way for the cars on the right-hand side, and then it smooths uh, smooths itself uh, in, and. The next of the, uh, the remaining of the, of the clip is to show how this is being done under the hood. Uh, you see on the top the videos and the overlays of the, of the perception, both the parking cars and, and the moving cars, uh, the drivable path information. Right, it 
knows about the, the pedestrian, about the, the cars on the, on the side of the, of, of the road, and it will make its way um, through the junction. In this clip, there's going to be some uh, blockages. Um, a truck is uh, blocking uh, uh, the road. Uh, th this is a bit tricky because you need to know what, whether this is a, a, a traffic jam, so you need to simply wait patiently or, or to overtake. So b based on the behavior of other, other road users, you can make that uh, decision. Um, and you saw that made decision kind of very, very quickly. It wasn't there stopping and you know, thinking uh, for a long time until it makes, uh, it makes a decision. It did it in a very agile uh, manner, and here it is uh, under the hood, as you see it moving its way. I think this is, this is the last one, again, from an urban uh, setting. Here it's, uh, you know, the other cars need to give way to the autonomous car. So the bus is going there, and then this small car coming in, you know, if you're not assertive, it, it would have taken our way, right? So, uh, so you see that, you know, our, our car, autonomous car, is doing, is, is behaving very, very human-like in the way it's driving. Yet, given this RSS layer on top, it does it in a way that uh, we can gu guarantee will not, will not create an accident.